Now, if some of us are being honest, we have a general idea of what the color wheels do, so we'll go in there and we'll adjust what we think are the shadows and the highlights, and we'll move wheels around until something looks pleasing. However, there definitely is a difference between the lift gamma gain and the shadows, midtones, and highlights. The first thing we're going to take a look at here is the gamma. So we'll link the adjustment. In the bottom left-hand corner of the waveform is the blacks, and in the top right-hand corner is the whites. Now, as you can see, when we adjust the gamma, the middle portion gets adjusted, but the blacks stay black, the whites stay white. Now, if we come over to the gain portion, we can adjust the luma, which is the lightness and darkness. And you can see this actually adjusts the white point. So the black is staying put, but everything else is being adjusted. And as you can see over on the waveform, that middle portion remains a diagonal line. Same thing with the lift. What you're adjusting there is the black point. So when you adjust it in one direction, you start crushing the blacks. The other direction, you start lifting the blacks and they start to become gray. Now in reference to the offset wheel, you're moving everything in unison and that middle portion remains a diagonal line. Whereas opposed to the other adjustments, they were pivoting either on the white portion or the black portion, or in the case of the gamma, they were being pinned to the sides. Now as you can see, if we adjust the lift and start moving the colors around a little bit, the brightest parts, along with some in the middle, are being adjusted, but the black is remaining black. And the same thing with the lift. Of course, now the black starts to be affected along with everything in the middle to a lesser or greater extent, and the whites remain white. Now, shadows, mint tones, and highlights do things a little bit differently. As you can see, when we adjust the highlights, pretty much the bottom and middle section of the waveform monitor remain that diagonal line, and only the highlights are adjusted, which makes those adjustments very specific. So if we go ahead and we go into the shadows now, you can see the same thing. Only the shadow portion is being moved, but the midtones and the highlights aren't being touched whatsoever. Same thing, we come into the midtones, we make the adjustments, and it's only affecting that specific region, unlike the lift gamma gain, which sort of affects everything as a whole. Now, while we're on this screen, let's go ahead and take a look at the contrast. Now, you can see when we increase the contrast, it's actually making an S-curve. However, when we decrease the contrast, it's keeping that straight, linear, diagonal line. Again, we increase the contrast, you can see what it's doing there. The whites and blacks are remaining pinned, and only the middle portion is being affected. In regards to the pivot point, you can see what it's doing on the chart and on the waveform. You're affecting at what point the brightest parts of the image and the darkest part of the images are being affected. So let's look at a practical example here. You can see that when we adjust the offset, it's sort of doing a color toning. It's lifting the blacks, and it's actually putting a color cast into those blacks. You can see here that it's applying blue to the darkest parts of the image. Now, if we come over here to the gamma, if you remember from earlier, the blacks and the whites remain pinned. All we're adjusting is the color cast in the middle. And as you can see, as I mentioned, the blacks stay black, the whites stay white, and anything in between is being adjusted accordingly. So let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Here you can see the offset adjustment, and here you can see the gamma adjustment. So as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you thought this was useful or might be useful to someone else, please go ahead and share. Hopefully this clears up some misconceptions about the color wheels. If you have any requests about an upcoming video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.